Today's scam was brought to us by one of our loyal viewers named Sky, and definitely breaks a record for us here at Trilogy Media for how long we've kept a scammer on the hook. That's the longest one, right? We Four months, to be specific. Four freaking months! Insanity. Sky received an email from somebody claiming to be someone who works for the FBI, promising her a large payout for a supposed victim settlement fund. Thankfully, Sky smelled a rat and didn't fall for this scam, but did proceed to send us the email so that we could take it a step further. Let's dive into this scam and see how much information and embarrassment that we can glean from this scam. Brother, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it! Throwback to Christmas time, 2020. Yes, that is how long we've been wasting this scammer's time. But we've got to start from the beginning. So we got an email. Oh, um, surprise me. Subject line, attention. Well, at least it's, it's not screaming when usually it's capital attention. It's so true. It's attention. It came from doobj0343 at gmail.com. Doob? Doobj. Doobj. It's like DJ, but it's doobj. Doobj. Attention, please. Now, this is all encapsulated in a Google Forms header. Oh. So I'm interested to see what this is going to look like. This is to notify you about the status of your fund presently in my desk. <laughs> not on. In. It's in. After due vetting and evaluation, your payment was approved and endorsed by the United Nations Organization Authorities. Your information has been confirmed with the instruction and approvals given from International Monetary Fund and Fer Federal Bureau Investigation, FBI, oh that, Federal Bureau Investigation, USA, Washington, D.C., in regards to deposited fund from IMF, sum of 12.4 million U.S. dollars as full payment of your compensation fund. D now, this, here's where it gets ironic. Due to the incessant scam activities going around the globe, FBI and secretary. Secretary. Ah, oh, so here. Oh, oh. Secretary. Secretary. So it's not secretary. I guess not. Secretary Homeland Security, Chad Wolf. Chad Wolf. If you follow up our directives, your fund will reflect in your account within five working bank days from the day you obtain this form. Do not go through anybody again, but through this bank if you really want your fund. So it's another red flag. They always tell you, don't talk to people. Don't tell anybody yeah. what's going on. Don't, don't call the bank and ask. You got to go through us and you got to do it fast. Please provide below details to avoid mistake. Full names, occupation, address, sex. Looking forward to your urgent respond. You can contact him through his private email address or phone number. Oh. There is a phone number. There is a phone number here. Chad W4789 at gmail.com. What's interesting here is they have not gotten yet to the point of where the scam is. All they've promised is to give us money. They haven't actually asked us for a payment to the, get that money, but they will eventually. I was about to so say. I want to see when that happens. Yeah, and I want to see how much they're going to ask. Now, here's the deal. I already sent an email to Chad W, but I haven't checked out this because Google Forms is a real thing. Untitled form. They couldn't put a title on it. I want to click and see what happens. Okay. You a know. very thorough form of information request. Hey, they give you one option, okay? Untitled question, option one, submit. Submit. So the Google form clearly is just a, a tool to make them try to seem more legit. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't even bother to put a fake question on here. No, no questions, nothing. It's so just... the form is really irrelevant. They really want an email to this, which thankfully I already did. And I am just now noticing he gave his phone number too. So that we'll, we'll keep that on, on file. Maybe we can uh, talk to him later. So anyway, I emailed Chad. I said, hello, OMG. I'm so excited about this news. How fast can I get my payout? Mm -hmm. Chad Wolf. Oh, I forgot to ask. Chad Wolf. Who is this? Chad... An American government official who was named the acting United States Secretary of Homeland Security. Okay, so they stole Chad Wolf's name. That's His a identity? A real government official. He said, Okay, it can only be faster if you can do what is needed. Oh, the bank, bank needs $350 to activate your ATM card for it to be able to carry the amount. So it took him what, 14, or, yeah, 14 hours okay. to get back to me. Okay. And then Not too shabby. two minutes later, he sent a second email. ATM is ready within for you to make the payment for sh the shipment to take place. Get back to me as soon as possible, thanks. Do you want to call it? I would love to. Let me email him and say, can yeah, see, we call can, you? Can we call, yeah. Can, or can I call you? Yes. 
And then maybe this one we can get him on the phone a lot then, faster. Just, yes. Can I call you? I have a couple questions. And I have money. I have money and I have a couple questions. I have the cash ready to go. Let me know if you're available. Okay. Simple. Very simple. And um, I can be, in this case, actually, since you're a wealthy guy, I can be your personal uh, mush, uh, cash handler. Mushroom? I can be a mushroom? I have my uh, assistant mushroom next to me here. Yeah, mash, mushroom. Okay. Chad Wait. Wolf. Boom, going out. As often happens with these email scammers when they're overseas, responses from them come randomly and at late hours of the night. Let's take our time getting more connected with this scammer and see if we can get his IP address and location tracked and possibly get him on the phone. Okay, he's been very, um, He's been very persistent since I originally reached out. He was one of the only ones to reply like several times every time I'd send him a reply. He's very responsive, very pushy because he's using a Gmail account. I'll see if he'll accept my Google Hangout invite, which will allow me to uh, have a, a DM live chat with him. So it's a little more instant than text messaging and also has the ability for me to video call him. Now that doesn't mean he's gonna answer or allow us to see him, uh, but it will, be for a much more instant communication. And uh, therefore I can also maybe send him an IP grabber uh, tracking link and see if he'll click it to um, show us his IP address and where he's actually located. Oh. Okay, but are you going to send today if possible? Yes, I'm on my way to the store right now. Please message me on Hangouts. He accepted it. He accepted my hangout invite. Can I call you really quick? The good thing about hangouts is that I can call him, video call him directly. Whereas a lot of things like on Zoom and stuff, I have to invite him to come into my video call. What I like about Google Hangouts is I can just push a button and call him, similar to like a FaceTime, but I don't have his FaceTimeable number. And since he's using probably a spoofed or a, or a secondary text number, it probably wouldn't accept FaceTime anyway. Not right now. Okay, I'm just gonna video call him and see what happens. Sometimes it's fun to throw these scammers off their script. By me pretending that there's another rival scammer trying to get gift cards from me. Sometimes it'll make the scammer act faster or communicate more directly than they usually would be comfortable doing. We must be working with a little improv artist here because Chad immediately adapts. Ha, yeah, he's claiming to know him. That's hilarious. We got a little bit of an improv artist. I'm gonna make a IP grabber link and see if he will click it. Hello? Chad? Hello? Can you hear me?
Come on, fishy, take the bait. Boom! Took the bait. He is in Abakuta, Nigeria. Where is that? This is where he is. Near Lagos. Wow. That's his IP address on a mobile phone. His ISP is MTN Nigeria. Can you hear me? Chad? He's playing games. I could hear the feedback of my own voice, which means he can hear me fine and I can hear him shuffling. So there's no technological issues. He's playing games. It is very late for him. Right now it is almost four in the morning in Nigeria. So when he says he's tired, I actually believe him. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually assumed the identity of Mike now. He's now pretending to be his rival scammer. Chad is already proving to be very stubborn. And over the course of the entire scam bait, sometimes he goes silent, almost to the point that I think maybe he's caught on to me. But his greed always gets the best of him, as eventually he always circled back with more attempts to get me to pay. At this point, I've got him to agree to talk to me on Hangouts again. And you won't believe what he does to keep himself anonymous. Hello? Chad? Mm-hmm, <laughs> motherfucker. Hello? Chad? Hello? What's happening? Who what is what is this? What am I looking at? You have to say something. I can't You don't need to type. Just say it. I'm right here. I can hear I can hear you. God, you're such a fucking idiot. The deeper we went with Chad, the more I realized that unconventional methods were probably going to be needed if we had any hope of exposing him. I kept refusing to continue down his path until he video chatted me properly. And despite his continuous refusal and threats to block me, he still came back and continued conversation time after time. Now here's where things took a turn. Chad referred me to somebody else entirely. A website and email address for Citizens First Bank where apparently my payout was being processed. After further investigation, it turns out that the bank that he's connecting me to is completely fake. Now it turns out that there is an actual Citizens First Bank in Florida at a completely different URL, and is probably completely unaware that there is a scam organization pretending to be them in order to scam people. Visiting the website of the scam version, thankfully there was a deceptive site warning on both Google Chrome and Safari browsers. But once bypassing that, we were able to take a closer look at this fake bank website which was scarily dense. I've seen a lot of scam websites, but this one was pretty elaborate. 
a lot of content, many pages, and even a live chat support function built in. Not to mention, these scammers have email addresses set up with this fake domain name, unlike the usual Gmail or Yahoo addresses that are much more disposable to them. A lot of time was clearly put into this deceptive endeavor, and this was not these scammers' first time at the Rib Deal. However, after a really close look at this fake site, we found many broken links, generic filler text, and can see that the website is not HTTPS secure. Before proceeding with Chad, we thought that the real First Citizens Bank would probably want to know about this. My name is Ashton. I'm here with my business partner, Art. Uh, we work for a company called Trilogy Media, and uh, we investigate scams. We have found a, uh, a website and a phishing scam that is posing to be your bank. Um, I've been trying to report it and email it to you guys, but I got a bounce back. Um, so just wanted to talk to somebody that could possibly guide me to the right place to report this. Or to get the right email address that we can report that. Okay, you said you're calling from Trilogy Media? Yes. Bear with me one moment. If I can get some information, I can forward this over to our risk area. Mm -hmm. Citizenfirstbk.com. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for calling us. No problem. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Have a good Bye. one. As of recording this, that fake website has been shut down, so that's a victory. Now, back to Chad. It's now May 2021 as of recording this right now, which means we've been wasting time of this scammer for almost five months. And that alone is a victory at helping to prevent more people from falling victim. And throughout this entire time, despite how irritated he is with me, he still thinks I'm on the hook and continues to try to scam me. The correspondence between us and Chad is way too exhaustive to feature all of it here. But here are some of the highlights. Phone calls, text messages, and an ending that you won't want to miss. <laughs> Stop wasting time. <laughs> I love when I get the scammer to say stop contacting me. It's great. Yeah, we have money for you. Chad, this is Ryan. I don't know what else to do. You, like, look, my phone camera doesn't work. Like, I can't, no matter how I hold this, it will not focus. <laughs> Hi, Chad. Chad, I'm here with Vlad. I have the cards here. Are you in, are you in a dishwasher? Chad. The amount of times this guy has told me he's gonna block me and not talk to me anymore is astounding. Chad? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Me and my friend. Yeah. yeah, can you hear me? You can hear me? Yeah. Come on, Chad. Let's get this done, please. We've been going back and forth for so long. I'm so tired. Chad? Chad? Hello? Can Hello? You... Hi. Yeah. Can you say, I can't hear you? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, please. Can you say hi? Uh, hi, Chad. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Good? Okay, okay, okay. Are you hearing a cricket? Yeah. Well, it's the middle of the night over there. Yeah. He's also the most unconfident scammer I think I've ever heard. Trying to hold it still. Can you say? Yeah. Can you say something? Chat. Yeah. Chat. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see us? Yeah. 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 Hold it. Hold it. Wave to me oh, so yeah. I can move this. Which direction, Chad? Up. 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 Motherfucker. <laughs>
thank you so much for watching. Uh, we do hope that not only did you have fun with this, but that people don't forget to acknowledge the red flags that were present right from the get-go of this scam. If you ever receive a suspicious email from the FBI like this one, here are the things you wanna look out for. Promise of monetary gain. If somebody is promising you money, money for free, big red flag. Source email, make sure you check exactly what email address the email came from and don't just trust the name of the person that they typed in. Anyone can type in what the name is. You wanna click the drop down on your email provider and see the exact email address that it came from. If they're claiming to be a government official and it's from a Gmail or a Yahoo, big red flag. Urgency in communication. If somebody is rushing you, if somebody is pushing you to act fast without thinking, big red flag. Because scammers do not want that you will talk to your friends, your neighbors, your family. They don't want you to tell anyone. They, no. don't, want to, they don't want you to put any kind of logic into it. Just do it quick. They want your money. Hurry and up. And to get your money, it's like without thinking, rushing you, scare you, put you in the corner, boom, they got your money. Stay informed, stay safe. And make sure you subscribe to your favorite scam fighting duo. My name is Ashton. My name is Art. And we'll see you next, next time. time.